Dear HCL Unica users, welcome to this new video where I will be talking about a new feature which got introduced in Unica Interact 12.1.2 version. This is a small feature, however, it is very useful for the customers who are heavily using the triggered message functionality of Interact. Consider that you are sending hundreds of offers using the triggered message gateways from Interact. Now, in that case, you will definitely need to track your triggered actions to find out which all actions were successful and which all failed. And if some of those failed, then what was the failure reason? In order to find that out, we have introduced a new table in Interact Runtime with name as UACI underscore triggered message log. Now this tracking can be done based on the audience labels. I will be first showing you the configuration parameters to enable this logging feature. You need to go to the interact node in platform configurations and click on profile and then select the particular audience level for which you want to track the triggered actions. You will see a new field added for audience level which is with name triggered message log table. You can define any table name for this field. In my case, I have used the default customer audience label and hence I have used a default table with this particular name. This table comes out of the box with Interact installation. When you are using custom audience labels, then you will be creating separate tables for those audience labels and you, you will need to define that table name in this particular property. After you have defined the table name, you can also decide what types of messages about the triggered actions you want to track in the table. That can be defined here. Go to the triggered message node and you will find a new property called logging mode. This can have values as none, error and all. None is the default value which will not track anything. If you set it as error, then it will track only the triggered actions which failed in the offer delivery. And if you set it as all, then it will track the successful as well as failed offer deliveries in the table. Let me show you my triggered message configuration and then we will see the data into the table. So I have configured a triggered message based on the trigger action contact. So whenever a contact event is posted, uh, my triggered message will send an offer called winter offer to a gateway. I have created a simple scenario in simulator to show you the working of this. In my scenario, there is a start session, a gate offer and a post event call which posts this contact event. Let us run this scenario. You will see the gate offers was successful and then a post event contact was done for that particular offer which will send the winter offer on the outbound channel. We can see that in the database, inside the table which I had configured for my audience level. You can see an entry here. It has added interactive channel name, the customer ID for which I ran the post event, then the gateway, the channel name and the offer details as well. Now in my case I have 
deliberately uh, made the configuration of the channel to fail the delivery of offer so that an error message will be logged here now in my case the status is logged as 3 which means the delivery of offer has failed and the actual error is also logged in this message column thus i am able to track whatever triggered actions happen in my system using this table now as you are existing users of triggered messages you must be aware that an offer can be also configured with a delayed delivery and that delayed delivery can also be tracked using this new feature and to explain that i have created another triggered rule with action as login and here i have configured the delivery to be delayed by 5 minutes that's whenever i post this particular event then the delivery will be logged in the table however the first entry will go into a separate table where a triggered message action will be logged and then the actual delivery will be logged in another table so there is another table called USAI underscore triggered message which will have the entries which show that a triggered action happened but that will be actually delivered after some time. So if you can see on the screen it has logged a channel then offer details then the insert time which is the actual trigger action time and then the actual time to deliver if you can see here the actual time to deliver is exactly five minutes after the time of insert because in my case i have configured it as a five minutes delay in delivery so as soon as this time is reached then delivery of offer will be attempted to the specified channel gateway and then the entry will be logged into the actual USAI triggered message log table. The logging is also configurable using some new JVM parameters. I'm showing those here for reference. The first parameter is max delay in minutes. This is the thread interval for persisting long da log data into the database table. It has value by default as 15 minutes and you can configure it to any other value as per your requirement. Second JVM parameter is max batch size. It is the maximum batch size to maintain in the queue. The default value is 1000 and you can change it as per the requirement. Third JVM parameter to control the logging is max number of failures. It is the maximum number of retries if the operation has failed. The default value being 3 you can configure it to any other value this was all about the recording of triggered actions and their responses into interact thank you